What is up, everyone? This is the Chicago Sports Talk Michael here today with another topic. Why do I think Paris Johnson Jr. would be a great asset to draft for the Chicago Bears, you say? Well, one, he has been one of the high draft prospects in this NFL draft class with when it comes to linemen and the bears last year, they were, they had one of the worst offensive lines in the NFL when it came to the passing game and the bears didn't have any good right tackles last year. So I think Paris Johnson jr. Automatically fills in that need for the Chicago bears and protecting their young quarterback, Justin Fields. If you look at Paris Johnson Jr.'s career throughout college, he has only allowed three sacks throughout his entire career and has been a pretty solid lineman for the most part at his time at Ohio State. I wanted Jackson Smith and Jigba, but since we got DJ Moore, we don't need to draft a receiver early. We need more of an offensive lineman if we have any significant chance of having protection around Justin Fields when he throws the ball because you don't want to have to draft another receiver if you have no protection. Otherwise you're going to be like Joe Burrow when they didn't, when they drafted Jamar Chase instead of getting Penny Swirl, the guy that got drafted by Detroit. So automatically this would be a great, This would be an upgrade over Riley Leaf. This would be an upgrade over Larry Bourne. And this would be an upgrade over Alex Letterwood. And drafting Paris Johnson, one of the best linemen, and Paris Johnson Jr. wants to be drafted by the Chicago Bears so badly because he wants to help his brother teammate brother Justin Fields because he got that Ohio State energy in him to want to play with a former teammate of his throughout college. Because remember, they played with each other in 2020. So adding him will help motivate him to do well because of the simple fact that it's going to It's a simple fact that him being with his former quarterback is going to help him motivate him to want to protect his quarterback. And that is probably more than what Jackson Smith and Jigba might bring to the team, which I wouldn't, I'll say this. I wouldn't mind drafting Jackson Smith and Jigba, but if I had to choose between him and Paris Johnson Jr., I'm picking Paris Johnson Jr. Because we are, uh, getting, we need protection for our young quarterback. So I think the starting lineup will be our left tackle will be Braxton Jones. Our right guard will be uh, Tevin Jenkins. Our center will be Cody Whitehair, depending if he stays on the roster. Our, I mean, Tevin Jenkins will be our left guard and uh, Co- not Cody, uh, Nate Davis, who we sign in free agency, will be our right guard, and our right tackle should be Paris Johnson Jr. And this obviously is an upgrade over getting Orlando Brown because the Bears tried to get Orlando Brown, but the problem was they they wanted him more as a right tackle than him being a left tackle because if you if you remember, Orlando Brown was a very good Pro Bowler. It's kind of like being like, oh, why would you want Cody Whitehair back at the center? It's kind of the same thing that switching positions can affect a player. Like Cody Whitehair was a pro bowler as a center, but he regressed tremendously when we moved him over to left guard. So he is an upgrade automatically over Sam Mustafer. As far as the right guard situation goes, I think... Paris Johnson Jr. would be a tremendous upgrade over just having Orlando Brown be on our team and having Braxton Jones being because Braxton Jones was a huge surprise because 
he was a fifth round pick that wasn't expected to do much because he came from a didn't go Braxton Jones didn't come from a well-known school. I think he came from like Mississippi State or some shit. But he didn't come from a well-known school like Paris Johnson Jr. did. Paris Johnson Jr. is automatically from a, from a well-known school that's known for developing offensive linemen. So you get Paris Johnson Jr. for Justin Fields' protection so he can have a perfect offensive line to th- to deliver dots down the field so he doesn't have to run all the times. He can run – like you have to forget the Eagles had one of the best offensive lines in the NFL, and it didn't matter who their receivers were because it, because Jalen Hurts always had a good offensive line for him to deliver strikes down the field. I could say the same thing. Offensive line matters if matters a lot when it comes to developing a quarterback because it won't matter who your weapons are because you always will have a clean pocket majority of your time. So if Chicago Bears fans, Chicago Bears Nation, anyone else that, that would agree with me, let me know in the comments section down below. Would you want to take Paris Johnson Jr. or take Jackson Smith and Jigba? For me, I'd rather take the protection over getting a wide receiver because it doesn't matter who your receivers are because you're always going to have a clean pocket and you're going to have more time for them to get open. And DJ Moore and Darnell Mooney and Chase Claypool should be enough for uh, to get open for Justin Fields. All we have to do is add a solid lineman, and then we, we're perfect. We might have one of the best offensive lines in the NFL if – everything goes solid for us. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. As always, thank you for watching. And always Chicago Bloodline, acknowledge me.